Hey everyone, it's Tim Holtz and I'm here at Sizzix headquarters. Now, did you know that you can simply ink a die before you use it? It creates a unique look, especially on a die like the stitch slots. Anything that has stitching or detail as part of your die that will actually crease it, adding ink is simply going to highlight that detail. You can see here on the stitch slots that you can use this die in a traveler's journal or a planner to tuck in your ephemera, but you can see around this edge, this stitching is highlighted by ink. This is how easy it is to do. So what we're going to do is start with a permanent ink pad. Now it's really important for this technique that you start with something permanent because we need it to adhere to the die long enough to transfer it. You're also going to need a brayer. It's going to make it the easiest way to uniformly cover the die without getting too much ink in the recessed areas. And then of course, our die. Now the die that I'm using, we want to make sure that not only does it have the blades to cut, but it has some of that detail or crease die that's going to go into the die, and that's what's going to leave the impression. Now I'm going to work simply by taking my ink pad, I'm going to ink up a brayer. Now to do that, we want to roll and lift, and that's going to coat the entire area of the brayer. I'm gonna make sure we get some nice ink on there. I'll go ahead and put the lid right back on this. Now we wanna have everything ready, so I do have my Vagabond set up. I've got everything ready to go because once we ink the dye, you need to work quickly because the permanent ink wants to dry very fast on the surface. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to roll right across the dye. Now you're not gonna see much happening at this point, especially because I'm using black ink, but you're gonna think, I don't really know if this is happening. Well, you know that if you've inked up your brayer, there's certainly ink there. So I'm just going around just different angles because I wanna make sure that I cover all of those raised parts of the die. There we go. All right, so once I do that, I'm just going to slide my die off and I'm going to place it onto my paper. Now I've got everything ready. I've got my cutting pad, my thin die adapter, and I'm gonna place this face down onto my paper. Don't have to worry about that. Take my top cutting pad, place that down. I'm just going to put it into my machine. And again, whether you're using the Vagabond, the Big Shot, whatever you want. And that pressure is going to do the cutting, so don't worry about that, but it's also going to kind of make that impression with the ink. And this is what we're going to get. Let's pop this out and take a look at that. Take a look at that detail. You can really see how the stitch lines really are highlighted because of that ink. It's put into that area, and when the die is cutting, it's pressing in that color. Let's do another one. We're going to do the coordinating label just to show you that anything that has that detail line, not only the cut line, but that crease line, you can use ink on. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more ink. Just gonna quickly ink up that brayer. I'm just gonna roll this on the top. Just go around, pretty easy. And I'm working on a non-stick surface so you can see that that brayer kind of skips off the edge. So just make sure you're doing that and you're not actually brayering directly onto your project. All right, I'm gonna flip that over take our die, and I'm trying to be careful not to touch the die too much because I don't want all of that ink to transfer. So we remove these scrap pieces of paper, place another piece down, place my die again face down on there, make my sandwich, and we're going to put this through. Gotta love the convenience of the bag one, I really do. All right, and of course you can change up your colors as well. I'm just using black, but the nice thing about this is that you can take any of your favorite permanent ink colors, and I'm working on craft paper, but you can definitely use watercolor cardstock or anything like that. Now here when you have a solid line, you can see that it really creates more of a drop shadow, right? Whenever you have this line, that's what's really nice. It's just going to add that accent. It's not gonna be super dark color like you would get with an ink pen, and that is why I love simply inking your dies before you cut.